Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do and don't forget to hit that notification bell. So today what I'm working on is stitching in my signatures, but I'm going to use the hidden stitch. The previous video that you saw, I had stitched in the signatures, but I used the outside stitching. And on these two, I did the hidden one. And it's a nice little effect. What I do is sew the signatures on a little piece of chipboard, and then I glue it in with a double-sided tape. And I love both effects. Um, since these two journals had all sorts of stuff going on in the front cover, I didn't want to take away by doing the same kind of stitching. And it's just fun to mix it up. So that's what I'm going to show you today. The journal cover that I'm going to be working on is this one. I had used a embossing folder and used that for my spine. Isn't that beautiful? I just love, love, love that effect. And because of that detail, I really wanted to hide my stitching. So we'll just get started. What I had done prior was measure the spine and I got my board ready. I only have three signatures again and I'm only going to put three holes in it and I make it so it fits in there with room to close enough so this isn't going to hinder the closing or the opening. I'll put that aside. I'm using my wax string again and it is about 16 to 17 inches long and this isn't going to be anything new. I already have my holes in here just like I do with the other stitching that I showed you. The only thing difference is I'm not stitching it right onto the journal cover. And I'll speed up this process so you don't have to watch. I do want to show you how nice it is just to find the hole in here because I use the crop a dial. I'm going to make sure it's nice and tight and I check it just like I did in the previous video. just want those strings to be nice and tight. I don't want my signatures to be slipping around. I'll do a double knot. I'll trim these down a little bit. I'm going to have the center of the signature to be another pocket. Like I said, these journals are going to be basically the same with just little differences, but I really like to have that center pocket for ephemera. I wonder if I should zoom this in a little bit. Let's see. Maybe that's too close. You just never know. All right. Just take that off. I'm going to bring the pages up together again. So 
There's no gap in the pocket. If you can tell, that's really nice. Get some more string and do the other two signatures. Alright, so there it is. I'm going to put my double sided tape, get some of that string out there, and just line the edges really well. And I'm just going to cover this whole thing up with my double sided tape. But before I do that, I want to see. How I want this laid in here. It looks like it's going to be right on the edge. I'm just kind of seeing what kind of Um, spacing I need right here because that is good double sided tape it really sticks let's see what I have here what I want to use this is just score tape it's uh, permanent double sided and I love it it does not slip at all it's going to stay for good Get right, right, right to the edge there. And make sure it's stuck on there really well. In between the stitching and on top of the stitching. to say is the nerve wracking because it is really good double sided tape and I don't want to mess it up because you did all this work you made the cover you got this pages stitches in so this part does kind of weigh on me a little bit but hopefully I can show you the process without getting my head in the way You want to make sure that you put it on straight and um, the right direction. All right. Wish me luck. I do have some strings in here that I 
want to maybe tuck aside. So they don't get stuck in that double sided tape. Okay. I just fold my pages up here pretty tight. if I just put the tip the top part first okay I think that looks good that side does Now, this is a part I just got to make sure that tape sticks to the spine. I can just run my finger in between each signature there. I got really quiet there. I was nervous. Like I said, that's the, the scariest part is using that double side tape that is like super sticky. I'm just going to get the ends a little bit. Sometimes I can get my fingers underneath those signatures. All right. That is it. I did it. Yeah, very nice. So just another way that you can get your signatures in your journals. And I guess this is all for now. And as always, I appreciate you stopping by and taking a peek at what I'm working on. And I would love to hear from you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. And I'd be happy to help you. So until next time, warmest of wishes. Bye.